and this is now our high here. So from oh remember this low and this high. Remember all these daily zones. So from here we had a pullback, we had a breakout to the downside. Then this becomes our low now. This is now our high here. This pullback here. Then from here we had a breakout to the upside. From here, we had a breakout to the outside. Price gave us a pullback and a continuation. So um, it becomes our low. Then somewhere here becomes our high. Then we had these two candles to the downside, which now becomes our low. And here it becomes. From here, we had these two candles outside. Then here becomes our low. Yeah. It's now our high. Then there was a news that came. We had a breakout of this structure. We had a pullback. We had a continuation to the downside. So here now is our low. Then it's our high. And you know we need two candles minimum to have this structure. So from here, price gave us a pullback and gave us continuation to the downside to continue this downtrend. So from here, we have this downtrend and this pullback becomes our high. So we've been here, we've been here until we had these breakouts. So once we had these breakouts, so price now gave us pullback here. The, we're expecting price to continue to the upside. So, but, um, I, I'm expecting price to, this is the, this is the high. I'm expecting price to come to. So am I still expecting this price to come here? But before it gets here, it's gonna play around, play around. So um, how, how am I choosing here? This is, this is one of the daily, daily zones. So to get that, I can use this, I'll use the black line. All these daily zones. Um, I'm, I'm, I, will need, I want to mark them out and leave them in this chart. Right. This high here, pull back. Yeah, this one. This one too, here. Yeah. This one. So that is it for here. Yeah. So you see that block, that's what we're having here. So I'm expecting price to come here. Now you see this one. This is where price came to and price started going up. This one was the one that price has been respecting. No. Oh, this is the this is the one that is causing the 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 pullback today. The pullback or having the price came here and price started dropping. So, and this is the one that is pushing price up. So we are in a buy trend now. Gold is in a buy trend. Um, so let me get this. Let me get. Let me just get this thing back here. Okay. come here I'm expecting price to respect here as a zone so I'm expecting like price will go up here come down go up come down go up. so um but before then from this daily we we'll come to the four hour so um and this is why I I we I we we experience those losses I just found out why because that day, the news came. You know, usually price, usually when we come after we've done the daily, 
I'll come and mark out all this place as where price should bounce in range. Um, okay. But that news came, the relation of this guy, power, the news came, the news just came, broke this first one, broke this first one, broke this second one, even came and broke this third one. It didn't respect any of this structure here until the price just did its thing and came all the way down here. Um, price came here, this was the daily structure. And that's why we're seeing price coming up again since the, yesterday night. But price didn't respect here. Price didn't respect any of this because um, price is, this is just a pullback. So during this pullback, price is not even respecting this thing. Price is not respecting this, all these zones. So we're going to trade what we see. That's why I said, okay, we're going to try something else. So and I'll take out everything. This is, how, this is how we're going to be trading. Like today, this is a structure from here. So this is what people call other block. I mean, I trade it differently. From here now, this is a structure, there's a gap here. This is a structure from here to here. So where we have two candles. So like today now, what I did is I marked out this structure. Then from here, from where we have these two candles, I just marked out everything here. Once I've done this, this, this place, then I'll go to 15 minutes chart. So on this 15 minutes chart, what I'm looking for is break up structure. From here, this is the zone here. This is from here, price came, price was coming down. So once you see price is coming down, you just follow, you continue selling, but you will be observing for break of structure. So you can, to see the structure clearly, you can see that on the line chart. Upside and gave us this pullback. Actually, came up back all the way here. So, but I didn't see this. But what you could, have, what we could have done is to place a buy stop at point here. So whenever price come here, then um, where is going to be your TP? Our take profit will be since this price is coming down. So when price is coming down, your concerns will be the support. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the support. So to get our tip, we can see if, our, if price is going up. So we are going to use when this price is coming down to get our TP when it's going up. So this is what we, we, should, have, we should have done to um, since today. Um, I made this one very tiny. Since I'm looking for buy TP, I make it blue. I use blue. From, then this is the first one. 
Place a buy stop here above here because this this was our structure from here to here. Then price came, broke this structure to the upside. Then you wait for two candles to the downside, two red candles. So price came here. This was, here was our structure. This is the structure here. So price didn't break here. Didn't break here. We had a breakout here. Then you wait for these two candles to appear. So once you see these two candles close, this red one close, this green one is about appearing, then you can place a buy stop above here. Ahead of this week, on top of the week, somewhere like this. So then if you do that, you will now wait for the price to activate. So you see that we shouldn't have traded that yesterday. This was yesterday. This was that yesterday morning. That, um, we didn't have opportunity to trade. And if this thing activates, our TP would have been this one. This um, 1803. So this is what I this is how I used to trade gold. So this would have given us almost 70 pips. But this is a sure winning. This is a sure winning strategy. So yesterday, this strategy would have saved us not to trade because this thing wouldn't have activated. This buy stop. You see all this for Hala. You see, price didn't activate. It was till this morning, the thing came and activate. So once he activates, your, your stop loss will be the previous low. My stop loss is supposed to be here. Previous low. Here. So until price come back here before we can. You see, price came and gave us. Um, price hit take profit. So when price hit take profit like this, what I what I do is I wait for two candles to appear. So I wait for two candles to close. Like this one now, this is actually this is actually a structure. This one was um green candle. Yeah, but this one is, I wouldn't have placed any buy stop. This one was red candle. So once this red candle closed, you can place a buy stop above here again. Above here. Then your TP will be the next one. This our next TP. You see him? Can you guys see are you guys still still here? Hello? Yeah, we are here. Okay, so once this thing activates, once price, all this, so the good thing about this strategy is this, it helps me not to over trade and I just set it and I go away. So you only activate when price is a buy stop, is a pending order. So we had a, we had a pullback you set the buy stop above here. But the thing is, um, the thing is this, you don't get plenty of opportunities, but once you have those opportunities, they are like, the winning rate of this strategy is about 80 to 90%. So when price come back here, once price come here and I see, okay, price who gave us this pullback, from here, price activated. So one price activate. Once price activated, your your stop loss will be the previous low. So this is our previous low here. Yeah. Then the TP will be this one. It's not a lot. You got a lot of pips, but from here, it's about thirty-two pips. Yeah, thirty-two pips. But one thing I use, one thing again that I use with this trade is that I use a bigger lot size because it's like a show sure winning for me. So this is this is something we've been missing. Um, so price also hit TP yet. So you see today would have only done would have only taken one trade. 
just 30 pips so you would have put in a lot of big uh, um big size and uh, lot size and you would have hitting our tip um so this is about that for for this buy order then what is well um to find out what's happening today why i ask us to close that that buy can you turn off your mic so still on this zone now still on this zone you know that this black line is a very it's a daily zone and see you see what you see how price is just dropping as, as soon as price came and hit here see you see what price is doing so um still on this zone for this side uh, when price let me go to 15 minutes so now from here price gave us the price gave us so this is your structure to, to see if structure was broken because the essence is to see break of structure you can see price from here give us push up push down push up push down push up push down push up this is the new structure push down this is the new look push up then from here structure was broken and price gave us pull back this morning I didn't see this in a time guys and I'm sorry about this so we could have placed a sell stop here once you have a break of structure you wait for two can let me see this one actually one can but I would have I would have taken this I would have taken this trade if I was on this line chart because this thing was broken this is the structure here Even three can so the structure was broke, the 15 minute structure was broken from here from this black line. This black line, remember, this black line is our daily line. So, price came here, broke the structure, gave us pull back to that place of set structure. Then, to get our TP, we delete the target. So, we're now selling that. So when price is going up, your concern is the is the, is the resistance. This one here. So you, you take all these are TP. I'm taking it from the 15 minutes chart. So this is this is my breakout strategy. I use this thing to to, to um, trade velocity 75. It doesn't it doesn't put me in trade unnecessarily. It only puts me in trade if the trade is activated. So now this morning we have placed a sell stop here. Then once price pull or pull back, we have placed a sell stop here. TP that have been here. So this is about how many pips. It should have given us about 36 pips to make it. From here, after the week, from here. Twenty-six pips. Or if you use lot big lot size. So from here. So once price hit the once price hit this um TP gave us full back. I can I will I will use just ahead of this red line above just up above and um, below this red line. So it's gonna be my next TP, which is this one. That is this. So now you see price hit it. Price gave us full back. So we we'll wait for this can this current candle. You see that we we'll have opportunity to sell now. So this is what I saw, and I remember this strategy. I don't usually, I haven't been using it for a long time. So if this thing can close up, 
if you can get two candles close up so we're going to have a sell stop now we're going to set a sell stop here then our next tp will be on this one will be on this one so hopefully this candle will close in so that's two pips so the number there is um the number here is 1794 so because my um my this thing is different my my trading view and my trader is different so i i always make it i always add one so you can make it 1795 so but also if you don't want to wait because you already know this thing is, is, is trending low so you can wait for the price to put back here you can sell from somewhere here but it's risky so it, it's safer when you when you do sell stop you understand it's safer when you put a pending order but you know when you down trend like i said you can wait for two candles to go up then you can enter sell but your next tp will be 17 25. so i just i just remember this strategy and i said man you've been missing you see that all, almost um, all of them gave us winning winning trade. Almost the um, the the, pre, the the back testing. So sometimes you can hit your stop loss. So assuming we have a sell stop here, and price came and activated the price. They said this price just came. Let me show you. They said this one closed green, then another green. Oh. Let's say this one closed green, then another green also closed somewhere here. Then, um, then, um, okay, then you, then you, um, you now place a set stop here. Then, as new price from here came. Activated your your sell stop. Once price activates your sell stop, before even hits your once price activate your sell stop, your stop loss should be, you know that your stop loss will just be below below this 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 place somewhere. Here. So, uh, yeah. so that's where you're gonna be your stop loss. So that's how I trade this strategy, and I will. I'll put this picture on this video. I'll, I'm, I'm recording it. I'll upload it to the to my channel. Yeah, so you guys can go back there and, and watch. Then you practice on your own. But I always wait for where where I always do this is on the four uh, is on the is on. The, I always mark this zone. Like the next one now, the next one. If this price eventually breaks this structure above, so if it breaks, let's say the, it breaks it tomorrow. Um, the next one where I'll be considering will be here. This high, you, there must be two candles, so there will have two green candles. Remember, this is on the four hour chart. So the next one will be from me. I'll consider this the next one from here. And you even see, you can even see, can you see? You even came up all the way here just to get this candle. This one. So this is where we are considering. Then, um, the low, the low will be here. Then we have this, this um, somewhere here. That's that probably gonna be by for tomorrow. So I'll be considering from here this this zone from tomorrow. So this this has been the missing link um from our trade, guys. I don't know if you guys have any questions. Anybody have any? Yeah, but tomorrow, tomorrow is Saturday. Oh yeah, yeah, tomorrow is. Um, I mean, for month from next week. Monday. Yeah. Okay, so, so, this, so with this strategy so now, now okay, with this strategy, yeah. guys, um, yeah. fund your. Let's do. The, let's start that challenge. Let's start that hundred dollar challenge. Let's see how sure. how far we can go with this. Just to do this strategy, this strategy, so you guys can see. Okay. Yeah. So it means that from Monday we'll start selling, right? No, so we'll, 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 we'll have, have to Tokyo do, session. 
No, we have to look at what the market is giving us. Then okay. from there, okay. we will we'll get this zone. Perfect. If we get this zone, then I'll let you guys know. Okay, this is what it, I, will, I will get the chart and send to the group. Okay. Yeah. So are we going to be trading for the Tokyo section as well? Oh. It, no, this strategy works for any section. It's only you know that it doesn't have if. So why we need the buy stop or the sell stop is yes. if that if, if the opportunity doesn't come, doesn't put you in trade. Mm -hmm. You understand? It doesn't mm -hmm. put you in trade. So that's why we, okay. I prefer the sell stop and the buy stop. It's of yeah. order. Yeah. Okay. And you can also try this. Um, they don't allow me to trade plus this Let me see. Which one? Let me let me show you guys. Let me swap it. Velocity 75. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um binary that's volatility. 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 Yeah, volatility. Yeah. Turn off your turn off your mic. Let me show you guys. Okay. So since I moved to the US. They don't allow me to. They don't let. They don't allow U.S. persons to trade. To trade this. To trade binary. That come now. Where's my account? Where is your account? Now? Where is my? How do I log in? I never understand this thing. So that time I was in Nigeria when I started doing all this trading. This is I started from um, um what do you call it now? This um thing, this tick, all this tick, binary option. So yeah, was, yeah I got this thing in far back in 2017, 2016. So this is my real account. This is I blew out the account. Let me show you guys my trading. Profit table. So I used to. Uh, this is my profit table. See how it used to look like. I missed some my loss. This is this is just a gamble. This this uh, binary option. Like, um, mm, it ticks. Yeah. My desperation that time I won't make money quickly. Um. Then um so uh, let me do let's go to the Victor demo account. <clears throat> I wanted to show you guys they don't let me this real account. So they don't let me they don't let me do anything here again. Cashier. I go cashier now. Your fact account is currently set to US. You can no longer change the currency because you've made first um deposit. You see, yeah, you see, um, she said the lock and for me, it's locked because I'm in US. Please do not share your. They know, they know, they know it, I cannot deposit. I can't withdraw. It's locked because of my IP. So they know they let US people trade, but I can use it to do to do the. I can I can do the. I can do the this thing with you guys. The velocity. I can do the analysis. How did how did yeah, they go to go to resources? You see the trading view. Resources. Yeah, look at the trading view down. Which one? This one. Trading view. Okay. Yeah. Can you guys see my screen? Mm -hmm. No, yeah. no. That's a that's a. Can you see my cursor? Yeah. Yeah, we can see. My cursor, you can see. It. Oh, yeah. 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 There's um okay. I don't forget it. Turn off your mic. Turn off your mic. Don't forget how to use this thing. No, not be this one. This one, the, this one, I cannot zoom in. There's one. Then whether binary dot com. Trading view. There's a website. 
this is still the same website they are looking for. Yeah, but I cannot see the zoom in icon. The zoom, the zoom in zoom out. So it's supposed to show. Let me see. This meeting will soon end, but I will start a new one and send the link. So I'll just show you guys the strategy on this thing. Um, there's this website, binary um, slash. Something on. Same thing now, true. Uh, but I cannot zoom in. I can't, I don't know how to zoom. Oh, you see, I'm here. You see, me there. The day the bottom. From the side, from that your side. Which side? Just scroll down. Scroll by the side, right side. Just scroll down. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see them all. Hold on, let me check the other one. Let me check this resources trading view. Okay, I don't see them all. The thing they here. I swear, the thing they here. I say I don't think when I last trade this thing. Can you guys see my crystal? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't confuse with this thing, honestly. Um, um, honestly so when I come here, I go to I just go to four hours. What This thing has been ranging. And if I say it enough, it gets in my way. It's really high. Break out.
and then this is the this is the, this is the current high here then from here we had a breakout and the breakouts here cool drop and continuation this is the cool back and here we have the cool back and the breakout to the dance line and this comes to our high and our high and low and then from here we have this here and this here and the price came gave 100% cool back break um uh, came down so this is our low this is our this is our high this is our low from here we had the breakout pull back and a continuation so this place is now our low so I can't think. so the price has been respecting this this is the this is the current daily structure on this V75. 